Okay, having all sorts of <laughs> technical issues, but we're back. Um, so, um, I think I talked about the top line already, but we'll just quickly go over it again. I like it to be a fairly um, tight line into the body as that helps to elongate the neck, but everyone's style is a little bit different. Um, but even though I've got the top line quite tight, I don't want to make him slab sided. So I don't want to take the sides of him as tight. I want to um, come out a little bit um, to give him the spring of rib. Um, so I'm going to make sure that I'm not just um, scissoring off all of that side hair. I'm just um, rounding it in from the top line into his body. Um, so that's what I'm going to kind of do here. So work a little bit on just his, his sides. Um, he's got about um, he's got about four to five weeks of hair growth, so I will be taking off a good chunk of hair um, because that's what I found on his other side um, was that um, he was just looking a little bit bulky with me kind of more tipping him in and I like a fairly um, tight um, trim. So I am going to be taking off quite a bit still, but again, I'm still creating roundness to his rib. It's not just, um, it's not just coming down on it. Um, so even though I am going to be taking off a fair bit of coat, it's still, I'm not trying to just flatten out his ribs. So again, I take them fairly tight under here because you always want to make them look very up on leg. Um, and he has a decent spring of ribs, so I don't have to worry about leaving extra coat below him to give him um, things. His, his um, chest goes um, very nicely um, down to his elbow area. Um, so for that reason, I can really take it up. If your do dog really doesn't have um, much um, depth of chest, um, you know, you don't want to end up scissoring the chest way up here and having the elbow sticking way down there. Um, you want to uh, make sure you give the dog um, some depth of chest if they don't have it, but you also don't want to leave it sagging way down below the elbow, otherwise the dog isn't going to look as up on leg. So, I'm just going to scissor this stuff in, trying to make him not look bulky like I was fighting with on his other side. for a perfect scissor finish because this is just a maintenance groom just so that he doesn't end up looking way too hairy. Okay, so then for the elbow, you don't need to scissor it all the way up here, even though that's where your shave line is. You just want to pretty much just I kind of take it off kind of right at the top of his elbow, I guess, because that just blends in nicely with the rest of the work that I've done. And then we're just going to round this into there. Again, you want to make sure you don't do this area too short because you don't, again, want them looking like they have sleeves. This should all be one smooth piece. You don't want a sleeved look 
Um, so you want to scissor this all as if it's the same in the same line. You don't want to be cutting in there at all. So you don't want to be coming in here and start chopping away under the armpit um, because you can easily take off too much there. Um, so before I finish this area here, I'm going to move and do the neck into the shoulder. Um, this is an area that a lot of people do have issue um, with taking um, kind of short enough. I hate doing this side way more than I hate doing the other side because it's just the wrong hand for me. Um, but what you want to do, and I usually have to do this one from behind, is you want to hold your scissors at a 45 degree angle and come down tight to your shoulder. You want the 45 degree angle because that is um, what you want your shoulder angle to be. So you want to hold your scissors and scissor that area with that 45 degree angle in mind. Try to keep your dog's head looking perfectly straight. Don't be pulling it off to the side. But then you're gonna just want to come in and take off a lot of this hair. And I, I use my curved shears for almost everything on this groom. Um, kind of everything is rounded, everything is, uh, is some sort of a rounded angle. And so, uh, so I find that my curves work kind of the best for this type of, uh, this type of trim. So I'm just going to come in here and clean up this line. Really, it's really tight to here, and then it just kind of slowly kind of blends out a bit towards the shoulder. And then once you've reached where you want the shoulder, then you're going to start rounding it out to, um, to the actual kind of shoulder muscle area. Um, and then when you're scissoring this area, make sure to leave the neck hair. Um, if you don't leave the neck hair, you could end up scissoring it too much in, and then you end up just with this teeny little crest that looks more like a mohawk than an actual crest. Um, so I usually just hold this ear back. I mean, you can, you want to trim up all this hair here eventually as well. Um, but you kind of want to leave it almost as if you had an actual full continental mane. You kind of want to leave that stuff so that you can deal with it when you're working um, on the neck area rather than um, when you're working on the shoulder area because you're not going to be paying attention as well to where you are putting that um, area. So I'll try and show you from the front. It's kind of a hard thing to see, but you can see kind of how tight it is um, there, and then it slopes out. I haven't obviously scissored that shoulder area yet, but you can see how tight it is, and then it moves out to the shoulder area. Um, and then once you've got that, then you can round it in to your shoulder area and just blend it through so that you don't have a harsh transition. Um, but it all just blends together nicely. And you always want to try and get your dog set up somewhat correctly and then you can stand back and look at it um, to see if you're liking the way it's looking. Try and have your dog stay, stay, stay. Try and have your dog somewhat looking straight so I can see he's still too bulky in this area. I haven't gone that shoulder angle as well as I would like. I'm just going to come in, sorry if I'm blocking, I'm trying not to, but it's a bit difficult. Anyways, I'm just 
just went in there and I um, just scissored off more from uh, this area. I'm gonna stand back and look at it again. It was a bit better, but I'm kind of probably still bring it back to there. Because you really, not only does that help give you your um, shoulder, make the shoulder look better, um, but it also helps, again, elongate your neck because you don't have all this bulk weighing your neck down. Um, so you really want to pay close attention to that area um, when you're doing it because it really does help. So I'm just going to blend this in a bit. Here. Again, you kind of want to make sure that your dog's head isn't completely down. Hopefully you can kind of see what I'm doing, but I'm just blending a bit of that lower neck into, um, into things here just so that it's not just this big bulky mess. Stand. here and there, adjusting things a bit. The camera is a bit in my way for trying to see what I'm doing since I've tried to place it um, I've tried to place it where it's as much dead from the side. And that's not looking too bad. I'm just gonna that in there. I know it might be difficult for you guys to see detail, um, but I'm just, you just want to make sure that nothing looks too bulky, nothing looks out of place. Um, it just all looks smooth and nice. Um, so now we're going to move on to the chest. You just kind of want to kind of continue your line, um, you know, rounding in from where you've taken off the bulk there. You don't want to go straight down and give them no chest, but you don't also want to give them boobs either. You know? um, so hopefully you can see what I'm doing and I'm not too in the way. So I'm just pulling that all in, um, the black printer behind us isn't exactly helping me see that angle that I'm using. Um, hopefully that will help. And I'm just gonna continue to round it in. And the one thing that I always, well often do anyways, is that I will look at it again the next day and or later on that same day, really take a look at it, especially, you know, after he's kind of gotten down, moved around a bit, and hair kind of settles where it maybe would a little bit more naturally, and then look where I need to do more, um, because I find that I always find a little bit extra something to adjust. Um, 